What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new Dragon Quest Builders 2 video for you guys today and today we'll be showcasing to you how to build all of the bedrooms. Now there are quite a few bedrooms in Dragon Quest Builders 2 so instead of making individual videos for each of them I decided to make one big video compiling them all together. I will try to leave timestamps as well for you guys if you are after a particular building but without further ado let's get into it. Now guys, a little bit of advice, we are using just plain old earth to build these. You can use whatever material you want, you can make them however big you want. We're just going to be making them pretty small for the purposes of this video. But a little bit of a note as well guys, you can use any light source and you have to make sure that it is two walls high in order to create a building. However, one thing I will mention is try to ensure that you do use sconces or you know braziers or anything like that because they do count as a light source but also as a fancy light source which is really good because obviously it means you can tick two boxes so guys you can see we'll place the door down make a tiny room we'll be making the basic bedroom first which is any two beds so we have some simple beds here as well as a light source and just like that you have your basic bedroom let's move on to the next one alrighty guys the next one we are going for the social bedroom this requires four beds you can see there and any light source so we are using the sconces once again but you have to make sure that you put two light sources and there you go there. You can see a small social bedroom. So next up we're going to be building the communal bedroom which is an extra four beds. So you can currently see there we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you need to make sure that you have four light sources. So we've already got two on the other wall. One there and we'll chuck one there. And you can see there is the small communal bedroom which we apparently have not built yet. But there you go. That's all you need for the small communal bedroom. Alrighty guys, next up we have the venerable bedroom. So for this one you're going to need a grandfather clock, any light source, but once again I do recommend using a scones or a brazier, a bed which you can see there, as well as a potted plant. Now for a potted plant you can grab a plant pot and any plant will do, even this little shrubbery out here. Obviously you can put one of the, okay, obviously you can put one of the nicer flowers in if you want to spruce it up, but I keep getting distracted and talking to him, there we go. So you can just come in here and plop the plant down and you can see that makes a plotted plant, a potted plant, and we do get the small venerable bedroom. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty guys, next up we are going to be making the farmer's bedroom. For this you need two beds, you need any light source which you can see we've already got over there. You need a set of farming tools which you can create and you will need some firewood. Chuck that down anywhere you want and there you go, you can see there, small farmer's bedroom. So next up we are going to be making the next upgraded farmer's house and that requires any four beds so we're going to add to that we're going to chuck another one there and we'll chuck another one there you then need to ensure you have an extra light source an extra set of farming tools you can see there and an extra bit of firewood and just like that we make the farmer's flop house so next up we are going to make the farmer's lodge now the farmer's lodge requires any eight beds so we're just going to come in here and take some of these because we're going to need them there we go so we need can you Stop trying to talk to everyone. There we go. So we need eight beds. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. From there, you will need an extra two light sources. So we've only got two at the moment. We need four. Chuck those up. You then will also need two extra sets of farming tools. So four in total, as well as four bits of firewood. And you can see there, just like that, we turn it into the farmer's lodge. So let's move on to the next one. Alrighty guys, next up we have the dormitory. So for the dormitory you need eight beds. So you can see we've got four here, four lined up here. You will also need three pots and an inside. So chuck the inside down and it will turn into a dormitory. So let's move on to the next one which is the better dormitory. For this you'll need exactly what we've got here except you'll need an extra two light sources. So boom boom. You will also need two stools so any sort of seating and we'll chuck that one there and chuck that one there. And you can see there that's turned into the done up dormitory. Let's move on to the luxury dormitory. Alrighty guys, the next bedroom we have is the gillet. Now for that you will need any light source, two beds, as well as a decorative piece of armor or swords. You can see here we've got swords. Need one of those and that is all you need for the billet. Now for the barracks you will need four beds. You can see there we've just chucked four beds down. You're going to need two sets of decorative swords or armor as well as two light sources. So you can see there we've got the two light sources, two swords and we've just turned it into a large barracks. Now for the garrison which is the next level up, you will need eight beds and four pieces of decorative armor or swords. 
So we're going to chuck these up right now. Chuck them there. And you will also need four sets of lights. So, boom. And that is all you need for the garrison. Alrighty, guys. And for the final, uh, like, communal bedroom, we're going to be making the drop-dead dormitory. Now, for this, you will need a single chest of drawers. So chuck down, I don't know, two or three or however many you want, as long as there's one in there. You will need eight of the fancy beds. So I think the king-size beds or the princess beds work great in this example. So chuck those down. You will also need two fancy light sources. Now, I'm using the candelabrums here, but I'm pretty sure the golden braziers and stuff like that also count. From there, you can see that it's turned into a large social bedroom. You will also need three pots, so chuck your pots down. And two stools. We've got the comfy stools here. Now, there's something missing. One final item, the inside. Chuck that up wherever you want. And you can see there, that is the drop-dead dormitory. If we come into our Beetledopedia and go into rooms, you can see that we've got all the rooms complete. So, guys, that is it for the shared bedrooms. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more Dragon Quest Builders 2 videos. But on that, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. And I got this soul.